Hello kids, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. Okay, this time it's time for our science subject. And for our topic, we are going to discuss about the leaves of the plant. Okay, now, but before that, let's read first our three vocabulary words. For our three vocabulary words, the first word is long. Again, long. Again, long. Let us spell the word long. L O N G. Long. Very good. Second word is round. Round. Let us spell the word round. R O U N D. D. Round. Good. Next. Our third word is sunlight. Sunlight. Let us spell the word sunlight. S-U-N-L-I-G-H-T. Sunlight. Very good. Okay. Now this time, let's continue our discussion about the leaves of the plants okay now I have here a picture of a plant or a trees and these trees need sunlight and what and air so the leaves make the food for the plants again the leaves make food for the plants okay the work of the leaves is to make food for the plants and that uh, process is called photosynthesis and the next is the leaves needs water air and sunlight to make food for the plant again the leaves need water air and sunlight to make food for the plant okay as as uh, as you see here there's a sunlight and air and there's also water so that the leaves can easily make food for the plants okay now let's proceed this time we are going to talk about what color are the leaves of a plant okay now in this topic we are not only focusing on the color but we are going to tackle also about the size of the leaves and what kind of leaves the plants have okay so are you ready now here I have here a question what color are the leaves of a plant okay there are a lot of color of the leaves of a plant, right? Okay, now I have here three examples of a color of a leaves of the plant. The first is green, second is yellow, and next is yellow and green. Now, we will talk about first the green. Okay, the leaves of many plants are green okay most of the plants their leaves is color green right okay now i have here another example of a leaves of a maple tree okay i know we don't have this in thailand okay this maple tree can grow only in a cold places okay a maple tree have a lot of color and another one here this leaf is a green leaves okay next one some plants have red a uh, red leaves okay again some plants have red leaves okay these are the plants that have red leaves okay this one this one and another one okay all these plants can find this one 
in your garden right can easily find your garden okay so that plant is belong to red leaves plants okay now another here we are going to talk about some plants have yellow and green leaves okay look around in your surroundings and tell me if you can see or you saw a plant that is color yellow and green leaves okay now I have here an example of a plant that have yellow and green leaves this one this plant and another one do you have this all of this plant at home okay very good okay that plant their leaves is color green and yellow okay so when you go back to school i will tour you uh, i will bring you around the school and i will ask something about the leaves of the plants around the school okay okay now let's proceed now this time we are going to talk about what kind do leaves or what kind of leaves do plants have okay some plants have many leaves okay have you seen a plant that have many leaves yes a lot okay there are some example okay the first picture is a fern okay have you seen this one at home okay and another one is this tamarind plant okay I know you have this one in your home right okay and the last is a moringa plant these moringa plants their leaves uh, they have a lot of leaves right okay all of this example are example of a plant that have many leaves let's proceed some plants have few leaves if there's a plant that have a lot or have many leaves there's also a plant that have few leaves okay an example of that is this plant okay and the next is this photos plant and the next is this plant okay as you see these plants have few leaves right okay now next okay next some leaves are round now this time we are going to talk about the shape of the leaves okay some leaves are round okay these are some plants that their leaves is round okay this one another one is okay this plant I forgot the name of this plant and the next is do you know what plant is that okay it's a water lily okay that water lily their leaves is round and we say round is circle right okay now all of this example are plants that their leaves are round okay next we are going to talk about some leaves are long leaves okay now this time we are going to talk about a plant that has or that have a long leaves okay what are those plants the first plant is this one okay another one do you know what's that okay that plant is a banana right okay as you see the leaves of that banana is too long right okay that is an example of a plant that their leaves are long okay, another one is do you know what's this yes a pineapple okay the leaves of a pineapple are example of a long leaves right okay okay now next 
Some plants are small. Uh, some leaves are small. Okay. Now, these are the plants that uh, that their leaves are small. This one. And another one is this one. And the next one is this hanging plants. Okay. All of them are example of a leaves. Uh, their leaves are small. Okay. Next, if there's a plant that is uh, that having small leaves, we are going to talk about next. Some leaves are big. Okay, there's a plant that their leaves are too big. Just like the first example here, a leaves of a taro. Okay, these taro leaves, you can use it uh, when I am uh, in in elementary level when the rain is coming we use this one as as our umbrella in order as not to but not to get wet okay okay so so let us proceed to the next okay so all of these are plants that have big leaves okay okay now this time it's time for our activity but before that i will review first all the topic uh, all the things that we discuss today okay now we discuss about the color of the leaves right there's a plant that their leaves is color green yellow and yellow and green and there's also plant that their leaves is color red and we also talk about what kind of leaves do plants have just like some plants have many leaves some plants have few leaves and there's also plants that their leaves are long and there's also a plant that their leaves are brown and there's also plants that their leaf their, their leaves are big so that's all so it's time for our activity so are you ready okay if you are ready kindly prepare your science book and let's have our activity okay kindly open your book in science on pages number 18 to 19 okay and answers activity number one to number three okay now let's start for our activity number one okay in activity number one the first box you are going to what draw a short leaf okay you are going to draw a short leaf and after that label the picture okay just like i have here an example in number one okay i label it a short leaf okay so you are going to draw on this uh, first box using or you are going to draw a short leaf now for the second box you are going to draw a big long leaf okay when we say leaf there is only one right you are going to draw only one okay again draw a big long leaf so next and after that you are going to label the picture okay you are going to write the word a big long leaf here inside the line okay in this two line okay in the third box draw a plant with big round leaves so here this time you are going to draw a plant with big round leaves Okay. okay you are going to draw a plant not a leaves 
okay you are going to draw a plant with a big round leaves and after that you are going to label the picture here inside these two lines okay now let's proceed to next activity number two for activity number two put the word in the correct order make sentences okay so in number one there's a word here but this word is scrambled word okay you are going to arrange it in a correct order number one is for leaves plant the of food and make the plant so what sentence you can make using that word uh, using that scrambled word okay we can use or uh, we can arrange it into correct order by the leaves of the plant make food for the plant okay i already answered number one so this time you are going to answer number two these are the scrambled words plants some have leaves many so what sentence we can uh, construct in that scrambled words okay write your answer inside these two lines and number three leaves are round some okay i think that is so easy right okay now write your answer inside these two lines again okay now let's proceed to number activity number three okay for activity number three you are going to answer the questions okay here are the three uh, the two questions number one what do leaves need to make food for the plant again what do leaves need to make food for the plants what are those things that the leaves need to make food for the plants okay you answer it here inside these two lines next number two which part of the plant makes food for the plant which part of the plant makes food for the plant okay in what part of the plant that the plant make their food okay answer it in these two lines and after that after you you are finished kindly take a photo and then send it in our line group okay and after that you are done so that's all for today okay hope you're enjoying and once again stay at home stay safe and all i can say take good care and goodbye everybody